Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create a sticky container that scrolls with us as we scroll the page. Now, there are a couple of ways to go about doing this. One of them is new to Cornerstone and is now native. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Now, in our use case here, we are going to be creating a single blog layout. So this is going to be a template that we apply to our blogs and it will apply to all of our blogs. And we wanna have the blog content on the left-hand side and then a right side rail that has something in it that scrolls with us as we go. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. Now, because I already have an absolutely positioned nav here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of top padding here just so it kind of shifts things down a little bit. Now, here is where we are working. I'm going to use a row and column setup for what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and just click on one of these. Now I know I want my blog content on the left and then our right rail. So I think I'm gonna use something like this here and that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just style this just a little bit here. But like I said, we're not gonna get deep into styling this page, but let's go ahead and add a headline element. This will be our blog title. So this will be our H1. We'll come in here and within this section, we'll type in title and we will add this post title. And this says test article length. You do wanna make sure that when you're working on a template like this, you come up to the preview pane here and you make sure that you are previewing whatever you are working on. In our case, this is a single post because it's a blog post. And now we can pick which article we want to test here. So I'll do this one, a blog about phones. And there we go. Hopefully we have some content in this here. So let's go ahead and grab our text element. Now you could, if you were working on a blog post, you could grab the content post element and drag that right in here. You'll notice that there aren't a whole lot of styles here. Uh, let's get off of this phones one for a second and go to, we have this uh, test article length one. So this should have just some content in it. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So if we just wanted our content to inherit our global styles, we could use this content element and you'll notice there are no settings on the side here. But if we wanna have a little more control over this, we can add a simple text element below our headline here, open up our content editor, and we can type in double curlies, and then we'll type in DC colon post colon the underscore content, which pulls through the exact same thing. But now, because it is in the text element, we have full control over this. So if we wanted all of this text to be red, we could change our text to red. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. I kinda want the text to show up as a little bit of a charcoal look here. We want our headline to be just a little bit larger. Let's just make this three M's. Again, I'm not you know, making sure everything is responsive here, but for the sake of this test, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add some bottom margin here as well. All right, cool. So we have our blog post set up and we have our right rail here. And now we wanna put some content in this right rail. Maybe it's a sign up for our newsletter call to action. Now, the reason that we're using this rail is because we need this space to be able to scroll you'll notice that this column stretches the same length as our article on the left hand side here and that is intentional because our sticky element is only going to be sticky within the container that it is inside of so this column is perfect because it's a nice tall container here now we want to add our div so let's go ahead and add a div element and drag that into this container here and there we have our div. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit of style here. Maybe we'll make the background kind of like a faded, faded purple, you know, something like something like this here. And uh, for the sake of design, let's just give it some rounded edges here. But you'll notice that now as I scroll the page and read this article, my little call to action box is now out of view. And if this was something like a sign up for our newsletter, uh, that's no fun. So let's actually go ahead and put in a little bit of headline here just so it makes more sense, right? So we got our little call to action box, this headline, I'll just make it a span, is sign up for our newsletter. And you know, you might have a form in there or something like that. Let's go ahead and make this 1.5, make it bold. And then on our div here, we're gonna just give this a little bit of padding so it actually looks nice, maybe three M's, that might be a little bit much, but something like this. Now I think that's looking pretty good. So there's our sign up for our newsletter box. But again, as we scroll, it disappears. So the way that I used to go about doing this is that I would select this div. I'd come over to customize. I'd set a class on this of something like sticky. Then I'd come into our CSS editor here 
and I would build out our sticky CSS. And there are all sorts of good resources for this, but something like sticky, this is from the Cornerstone Pro Theme Facebook group. Uh, one of the users over there provided this, but position, we'll do WebKit sticky, and then position sticky, and then top 200 pixels, and then Z index, something like 99, just to make sure everything is good. And then when we scroll here, you'll notice it stays in front of us. And that's great. You can absolutely go about doing it this way. I've accomplished it this way for a long time. So this works well, but it's not always fun trying to remember what that CSS is and going through this process of setting this up. So how could you achieve this without that CSS? Well, let's go ahead and delete it there and we'll get rid of our sticky class here. So now we are back to losing our call to action when we scroll. The great thing is in one of the latest versions of Cornerstone, the team over at ThemeCo has actually added in this functionality natively into the div element. So let's go ahead and click on our div element here and scroll down to the position controls here in our inspector window. And we are going to change the position from relative to sticky. And as soon as we do that, you'll notice that we then have our offset. So let's go ahead and set that offset to something like 200 pixels like we had before. And that is all we have to do, folks. Now, when we scroll our page, it is now sticky with an offset of 200 pixels. If you want that to be a little bit less, we could go 150 and you'll notice it just moves up the page a little bit. Maybe we go with 100. So it's right underneath our navigation bar. That looks like it's a little too close. So maybe we do 115 and that's looking pretty good. Now, as I scroll, it scrolls with me until we reach the end of our column two here, which is the container for that sticky element. So for instance, if I came over here and I added another section or two or three, this sticky element is not going to follow me through those sections because it has hit the bottom of its container. So if I scroll here, you'll notice I now stop when I hit the bottom of that section and then I go into these sections here. So this is super useful. One of the great things about this is if you needed to change its position based on screen size, like you didn't want it to be sticky on tablet size devices or mobile devices, you can simply click on that div, come down to that position section and change your responsive settings based on those screen dimensions. So it could go back to being a relatively positioned element at tablet size and lower, but those design decisions are up to you. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.